to turn them apart. Let the festivities begin. PK to Iniesta. Villa making a move. Pepe stretches again. Cristiano Ronaldo's got the ball. Cue the booze. Well handled by Valdez. Five minutes gone. That looked like a corner. Assistant didn't give it. Messi picks up and goes in his first amazing dribble of the evening. He certainly did look like it was a near corner rob, but Messi didn't give it up, did he? And then the ball appeared to be glued to his foot. Di Maria. Xavi straight across the six. Clever free kick. It was a missed swipe from Alves. Now Messi flicks it in. Oh, wonderful attempt. Pure genius. He's in the mood. It took him a two or three minutes, didn't it, to get in the game, but he certainly has now. Alves with the cross. It's all Barcelona in the opening stage of this game. They've got another... To Alves. Fancies his shot from distance, and he has to see his concern. Although he's drawn Pior from his sentry post. A quadruple step over from Cristiano Ronaldo. And he loses Pior, puts the cross in. Falls for Di Maria. A drop of the shoulder from the Argentinian. Strong block. And Real's first attack of the evening comes to Little. He's a slightly different... Caressing the ball to Iniesta. He has Villa out, outside. Oh, plays it inside. Great tackle, but no! He's been shot by Xavi! Not the greatest goal you're ever going to see, but a mightily important goal for Barcelona. A huge slice of luck gives Barcelona the lead. Which is a slightly lucky goal, Rob, but to see... Chevy that far advanced up the pitch. He broke the offside trap. He was fortunate, he was alert with the finish. But Real Madrid were defending deep. Talk of Barcelona keeping it. Inside, Ozil. Di Maria spots the gap. Big save by Valdez. I guess he's not hurting now. And that's a big save. The feet of Cristiano Ronaldo. You never quite know what's going to happen. Top pass by him, that could have been a very embarrassing own goal by Abidal. And another important save by Valdez, he hasn't put his hand in the way of that, Jerry. Well, he's had to, and Real Madrid looked really dangerous on the counter-attack, Rob. It's the pattern of the game that we... Three out of the penalty area here. And as Ramos climbs high. Good understanding of the game, a player only 22 years of age. <laughs> and he has to every Barcelona pass, being greeted by an Ole. Messi, any player who likes to take more than one touch. Pedro. Xavi has it, it was a foul off the ball by Marcelo, acknowledged by the referee. Barca continue, through David Villa, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ramos, gets the cross in! To the Barcelona, the flying Pedro! Jose's not smiling now. You have to just admire that football there. It was Olay after Olay. But 25 passes. And again, Real Madrid didn't make a tackle. They've got to get more physical. They've got to confront the blue and red shirts of Barcelona. Busquets to Iniesta. Oh, great ball through. Oh, it's good and offside. That was a reflex reaction from the referee's assistant, accepted by David Mir. Would love to establish himself tonight. Benzema with a cross, comes shot. With time and thinking space. Rounds Marcelo, puts in yet another cross. It's a mismatch at the moment, that's onside. Pedro is there before Casillas. For the second goal for Barcelona. And Cristiano Ronaldo is losing his court. And he's dragged out of the situation by the referee, Peraldi Gonzalez. And he's managed to draw the wrath of the whole Barcelona team, even Victor Valdez, who's rushed 50 yards to say his bit to Cristiano Ronaldo. Valdez is in danger of getting sent off here. He's gone absolutely berserk. Real staging a bit of a fight back here. It's a foul off the ball, free kick. And we'll have another yellow card to David Villa. Although, 
poises, poses, draws the wrath of the supporters and just cuts it just wide. He felt there'd been a save. He'd like to give Valdez some credit for that. Ozil's corner is a poor one. It falls to Lionel Messi. He's been dormant for most of the first half, Messi. That's what he's at his most dangerous. Pepe tries to wrap his arm around him and can't stop him. Now there will be a yellow card. <laughs> There were extra defenders after Pepe. One would argue with Lionel Messi that it was maybe an obvious goal-scoring opportunity. But it's got to be a yellow. He's so persistent in trying to stay on his feet, isn't he? He evades tackles. He reaches it to Di Maria. Puts his weight into the cross. And strong defending from Piol. Tries to thread it through. Can't be offside. It came off a pass a defender. And there's a cry for a penalty. Uh, Ronaldo, having been booked a few minutes ago, can't argue. <laughs> that smile is painted on his face, it's not a real one. He had a case, didn't he? He had a very good case. Well, I'm not sure it was the decision not to play the extra midfield player. Lionel Messi gets into his stride and... That's not... Ronaldo fighting off Alves, gets the cross in, but there's a second... In... Cristiano Ronaldo. No. <laughs> that was if it to Aldi Gonzalez. Guardiola was very happy, ever the statesman. But it's something like the referee could be playing for this Real Madrid performance. Well, Messi goes down off the ball there. Now, he's not one to take a dive, but there was a connection with Cavallo. And this is a big call for the referee. I'm not sure why Cavallo got involved with Messi, he made a good tackle, it wasn't a dive for Messi, it was a fair challenge from Carvalho, who then accused Messi of diving. Well, the referee is telling Messi to get onto his feet. And he shows, they've won the last two here, and they're in a very good position in the first half. Well, it's living up to the expectations, the most eagerly anticipated... Lionel Messi taking on all comers right across the 18-yard box. Loose ball in the area. Pepe flies in. Comes to David Villa. Tremendous stop. Superb run for Messi. And the Astor runs out of space. He's got a free kick there of Kerrera. He said, Rob, it's meant to be. It's tough and you, you haven't had much possession. They've been used to... Alonso flies into his old friend. Sergi Busquets, of course... World Cup winning colleagues and had a big handshake and a pat on the back as they came out for the game before but uh, old pals had to put head down drawing defenders threading it through to Chavi could save that's the side of the net and not the back of the net that would have been good night Real Madrid you know, well, the name making that run across midfield there there was three or four different options on that Barcelona could have used you know, sometimes you know those positions, you're looking for one option. And yes, there was here, wide on the left. Messi's running through there. Now Messi. Drifting, driving. David Villa. 3 0. Game over. Another typical Barcelona goal. Another typical Barcelona performance. But the team they're ripping apart tonight are Real Madrid. It's a great partnership from. That's really blossoming now from Lionel Messi and David Villa. And again, far too much time afforded to the, the Barca. Cristiano Ronaldo. Puts in the cross. Benzema came early. Now Busquets. Referee does well. Keeps it moving. He's moving very smoothly with Lionel Messi. Messi in Villa. Brilliant run by Villa. Can he finish it off? He can! Official now, Robinson turning into a route. They just love that pass inside the fullback. The easy option is to give it to the white player's feet and let him run at the defender. But they're so aware that the, the white players will look to run across and get the. Alonso steps over the ball. Long, hopeful shot. Valdez watches it go wide. 
Busquets tries the shot from the halfway line and Casillas had to watch that all of the way. They're trying to keep in here. Yep, yeah, they would have offended Casillas and he didn't want to look as if he was trying to, he was really enjoying the, the possession. Cavallio, a handball. He's got to go. He goes from bad to worse to ridiculous for Real Madrid. Get in. And he's, oh, that was a, a rash challenge from Ramos. One of those, I think, a little worse than it actually was. Ramos goes over to his Spanish international teammate, David Pierre, and that's a favour. And asked him to get straight back up onto his feet to prevent the caution, which is going to come his way. It's a lunge from Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a lunge from Padera as well. That would have been the 10th yellow card of the evening. Mexico. Bojan's on the move. He's onside. Here's his first touch. His second touch he can't make. Pepe stops him in his strike. Good defending by Pepe. Had to have massive powers of recovery then. Messi. Lovely touch. Bojan. Now he's got his chance. Tremendous save. Misses in a drought, 77 minutes. <laughs> There's another off the ball. Two teams. One in three minutes, Burke and Barcelona, absolutely brilliant. Now they're aiming for their fifth as we're into stoppage time. Bojan's cross. Will it be five? It will! No! And Briano joins the party. It's Jeffrey, sorry, Jeffrey, the substitute has joined the party. A great goal for another one of the Barcelona boys who's come through the system. Well, look at the celebrations, Rob, of the players. The despair again of Real Madrid. Incisive attack in play. En masse, every member of the squad, the coaching department, everybody's there. Pique holding five fingers up. Yep. Of all of the team celebrating together on the touchline, will adorn the club's museum and the press room here where they've got all of the pictures of the great games over the years. Oh, and another terrible tackle from Cavallio, and it's going to end very ugly, and there's a punch down there. And it's now getting very, very nasty. Well, the referee has sent off Cavallio, and he's got a series of other spats to sort out as well. He's pushing and shoving and arguing, a yellow card to Xavi amid the melee. And the medical men are working one of the Barcelona players as well. It's Lionel Messi, who's down, who's apparently flawed. And also the referee saw that, he's seeking advice from his assistants on the talkback. And that picture says it all, doesn't it, for Cristiano Ronaldo? Well, amid that, Ramos was sent off. Cavallio stayed on. Guardiola looks cool as personified as he heads down the tunnel, but I'm sure as he gets into the changing room.